<sighs> okay, so since seeing as Malo really didn't work out for me, I'm going back to Toadstool. I'm a man of my word. So I gotta follow through. Forget Gino boosting, there's no point in this. But then it's again kill excess shredder and it's gonna nullify every single bit of damage that I do. Okay, Wind Crystal I'm pretty sure is weak to jumping, so Okay, I really getting bad. My mojo's mixed up here. Ugh. Oh god damn it. I'm not even using the lazy shell armor too, so that's why it's gonna be even harder as well. Oh good, Gino's dead on the first turn. Isn't that wonderful? And again. Wait, I still still has a safety badge on, right? Yes, she does. Thank goodness for that. Okay, well Mario Super jumps the wind crystal again. Then I'll revive Gino with Toadstool. The Wind Crystal can die easily. Never mind. Yeah, Toadstool can just revive people easily without pick me ups. That's why Toadstool makes this game much broken. I really didn't want to use Toadstool for this match. Because I wanted to make it more challenging. Unfortunately, though, I had very l low amount of pick me ups, and Gino and Mallow just couldn't do much. That's, that's unfortunate. And Gino's not gonna do much either. You know what? When I get to Smithy, then I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna switch out Toaster for Mallow that time. Because I think Smithy is much more bearable in this one, in this mode. Kill the Earth Crystal. I mean, Wind Crystal. Yeah, it's a funny con, funny r reference to this. Fire, water, earth, and wind. It seems Culix is the Avatar all along. But he vanished from Final Fantasy IV. I think that's where he came from. The fourth game, pretty sure. The wind crystal will dead more easily. Oh uh, yeah, and we have to sacrifice Toadstool for that. That's that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Because again, I'm not using the lazy shell weapon. That would be way too broken. You know, Toadstool already is o overpowered as hell. And Dark Star. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Uh, okay, never mind. You could miss. That's cool. I will revive Toadstool right now. Uh, Earth. And now let's go with the AOE. Psych bomb away! I liked it better when it just focused their elemental attacks on Mario. It made this match much easier. And... Oh god, no. Oh god. No one died! What a relief. Quickly, come back, Gino. Again. Again. Uh. Yeah, I'm still upset that I had to die to Culex. Again, I didn't want to use Toadstool this match. I wanted to prove that I could be badass, be, be better. But, whatever. It's gonna badly. Oh, you just use Shredder. Thank you for do that then.
All right, but revive Toadstool there. Get a freebie. Hit the Earth Crystal with the Lazy Shell. And then group hog everybody. Great plan. Except now you gotta face the wrath of the blizzard. Uh. Once I get clo once I finish this game, then I'm going back to Pikmin because it's been over a year since I did a la did an episode of that game. And that was an onslaught right there. Okay. Well then I'll have Toadstool, then Vargina with this. Good lord. Maybe I should have used the red essences. In fact, why didn't I use the red essence? Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. I should have used the red essence. Hang on. Oh, come on, Gino. Don't die yet. Uh, okay, our toes still could die. Sure, why not? You know what? Really, the red essence. What is this? Let's see what it does. Hopefully, this means Gino can at cannot attack. This doesn't mean that Gino can't attack for like three turns. Because I know it makes you invulnerable. Question is, does it. Mean you're not able to attack? I don't know. Okay, well, Gina didn't take any damage at all. Shredder. Oh boy. Okay, so apparently Shredder also, like, negates the red essence, too. That's good to know, I guess. Oh boy. Running low on FP. That's stupid. Why does... I didn't know the rest the re essence would be cancelled by the shredder. I thought it was just attacks. But no, status effects too. Oh boy. Oh good lord, everyone's dying so much. This is ridiculous. I hate that them like like instant attack. I don't care anymore. I really don't care. This is really ridiculous. Yeah. It's a good thing like now I'm on spring break. I mean, my winter, the winter semester of university is over, so now. Got a lot more time to record shit. Hey, everyone else can do some attacks now, thank goodness. Let's go for the ultra jump. No way, ultra flame, I mean. Boom, baba, boom. Fucking Earth Crystal won't die, god damn it. It's so dumb. Ugh. Can we go one turn with no one else dies? No way, we already had one, but then everyone else died. And now two people, and now they're both dead. Come on! Thank God, Shredder. I don't think Mario could survive Dark Star. Well, maybe he could have, but I'd rather not chance it. It's a game of cat and mouse. Of Mario vs. Crystals. Of oh, damn crystals. I don't care, I'm getting through this one way or another. Yikes. Crystal, please just die for the love of God. Hit Mario. I don't think Mario gets hit by this. Thank you. Ah! Screw you. Okay. 
fuck you with crystal! Damn it! Ugh. But it just seems kind of redundant. Hit Mario! Thank you! Why on earth crystal just focuses Mario? Then we'd be on easy street. You know? He's so much better. Not this one though. That one's bad. Very bad. God damn it. Meteor blast. Oh boy. Hey, no one died! For once. Thank God for that. Alright, maybe now we can actually do get somewhere in this game. Do love the background. Oh my god, this fucking earth crystal won't shatter. So much hell. Ugh, okay, well at least Toxel didn't get hit by that. Oh no, 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 no! Okay. Ugh, okay. As long as Felix uses Shredder and the Earth Crystal and the f Fire and Water Crystals focus Mario, then we should be fine. Then everything should be fine and dandy, you know? Come on! Earth Crystal, please die! Die! Thank God! Oops! They actually give... They, they give... Boosters? Boosts? I didn't know that. Well, you know, it's not gonna last very long, because Culex is just gonna use Shredder and get rid of that. What? He's gonna do it this time. What? Any minute now, he's gonna do it. Okay, thank goodness for that. I have increased attack while, it's, while it lasts. Water Crystal is next. You know what? Now I can actually do some damage. Let's go, go, go! Yes! Okay, Water Crystal is apparently immune to bombs. Who knew? Oh boy. Took down the damn Earth Crystal. That! Hey, I blocked it! But it didn't matter, because he died. Oh, gotta use the pick me up, I guess. Lame. But now, this match became a lot easier, because that damn Earth Crystal was the biggest problem for me. Then, Culex. Now, we should be fine. I think. Yeah, there's a shutter. So much for that increase. But it was nice while it lasted. Next! Ugh, it's gonna be a lot to render. Like, episodes take so much time to, to like, um, to like, uh, export. 30 minutes is gonna be like, what, 6 gigabytes and it's gonna take like 2 hours to upload onto YouTube. Because again, I'm using Pinnacle Studio, which means... Gives me like... It takes like... So much time to like, edit. You know, like, it gives so much memory. Alright, I'm using AoE attacks. I'm using spells. Sorry if my commentary is not that great, I'm just trying to focus on it. But anyways... Okay, I used Ultra Jump, thank goodness for that. So yeah, the new Sun and Moon anime just came out for Pokemon. The art style is a lot different than what I'm used to, what well, like, to what it used to be. But I don't think it's too bad, yet. I mean, spoiler alert, so far, Ash and the gang, and the gang from, what was the name? Alola, from the Alola gang, just spent most of the time on the first island, mainly, mainly island. I mean, come on. Are we gonna go, are they gonna go to the other islands? 
Aqua Island or Pony Pony Island? I'm not gonna spend the entire arc there, are they? I mean, that's not really fun, is it? That's not cool. Go and venture somewhere else. I mean, yeah, Pokemon anime does love to break the does like does love to not follow the arc most of the time. Go on a different tangent compared to the games. I mean, well, it would be nice if they followed the actual game most of the time, like the Phoenix Wright anime. That focused purely on the game. With a few exceptions there and there, but like, it was entire, most, well, it was like, like 99% accurate to the actual game. Maybe 95, I don't know. 90. I dropped a lot, but whatever. Oh boy. Come on. Fire crystal die already! Thank you! One down, just Culex is go there's only Culex left. I'm gonna get through this eventually. Now to focus my attack on you. Now we can actually get somewhere, thank goodness. Okay, whatever. That's alright. And yeah, Gino's gonna get instant killed by that. Are you serious? Whatever. Mario attacks and I messed up the timing on that. Quickly, come back, Gino. Nearing the end there. I think I am. Okay. Almost there. Almost 75% of the way there. Okay. It's gonna take longer. There's only one of you. One of him. And maybe if he just keeps using Shredder, then we'll be on Easy Street. That'd be cool. Come on. Almost there. That's it. Hey, I blocked it. All right, Gino boost for a boosted ultra jump. It's gonna be awesome. Cause I can get the timing on ultra jump much more easily than than super jump. I don't know. I'm just used to it. This should be almost there. Three, three, three. Rule of three. And there's the Dark Star. Who's getting hurt? Coastal did. It's that instant kill. Running low on pick me ups again. Getting deja vu. I'll take up again. Three, four. I don't know if the ultra jump counts towards the um, super jump count record. I don't think it does, it's just super jumps only. But, whatever, I don't care. Not like I could ever get there anyways. I'll just have gone. All right! This should be it, we're getting almost there. Now we're near, now we're definitely nearing the end. Yes! Victory, and it only took me 33 minutes. 